Hello, Corn here. Welcome to my channel. As you see, I am tea dyeing some doilies and some paper. This is printer paper, 20 pounds, that I got on clearance at Walmart before everything happened. Then I'm going to switch this like so. Do, 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 do. Walk you all over here. This is my other assembly line my bananas <laughs> we've got some more papers and various um, degrees of tea color Let me do this again and then bring you over here to where the oven is and while I've got you here and so you won't be like corn I'm dizzy I'll show you what's happening here, since we all know that the doilies, the paper for the doilies is so thin, 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 but I've got a couple of them together, and uh, when that happens, that takes longer to dry, like this little baby, but it, it's drying in various degrees, so therefore the ones back here that are dry, I just scoop them up and put them where you saw earlier and then we keep the ones that are still quite oh here we go see we get this one dry in a hurry still quite damp I don't let them dry a hundred percent in the oven and um, you all might say corn this is you know not how a lot of people do it and I understand that um, we all do things differently and I thought since mine isn't I watched others and I kind of took bits and pieces, you know, from what other uh, YouTube people were doing. And um, I don't know if this is going to show you what I do, but I've put them in here. And um, the only reason this camera got put on was because I realized that, you know, this is my first time doing this. <laughs> I've done coffee dyeing before, but I haven't done the tea dyeing, and especially in layers. So this is brand new for me, so I thought, I do not know if I want to look redonkulous, you know, you know, filming this. It's not like I've never looked redonkulous on a video before. <laughs> but, um... What I do, since we're only dealing with uh, an oven of 250, is I take it out and then I take these guys out because they've just been in there for some time and they'll dry super quick. I take it out and kind of lay it in there lightly. And I've got this tripod right next to the oven, so therefore that's why you had to hear that. Maybe I can go out a ways. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, that'll do her. And, uh, yeah, I wish that my, I know, spring cleaning. Here I'm doing this when I should be cleaning the stove. But, um, yeah, uh, these guys were going to be drying and, and, uh, you know different times so what I do the ones in the front right next to the oven door is going to dry a little faster because that's where it's the warmest and then when they are dry see this still has a little bit of dampness to it but when they are dry then I go ahead and uh, take them out of here so I can have room for something else and these are the doilies that I got. Is it Miss Sparkle and Co. at Joann's? Where they had them, the white ones, bright white ones for, they put them on clearance for 97 cents. And I just put the whole pack in there because, um, I'll be honest with y'all, if I do this, I don't want to do it all day long. And I've been at this for some time already. So let me go put these up, and um, what I did was I took I took my mug 
like this. This is a big old soup mug. Look, it's still wet on the bottom. And you can see where I filled it to. I put uh, boiling water over 10 tea bags, y'all. Those are your Lipton Black tea bags. And I uh, let it sit for about 15 minutes because I wanted this stuff strong. I figured if I'm going to do it, you know, I want it to be I wanted to look, get some color, you know. So I'm super happy so far. That's why I went ahead and turned this uh, camera on. But see, these are already, they're already dry. And I took them, I take them out, as you saw. I take them out pretty damp, you know. They're pretty damp when they come out. And I showed you the two layouts because, you know, it's like an assembly line. Well, this is dry enough so it goes on this pile. This is still not dry enough so it stays on that pile. And I would like to show you Miss Trina got me my oven mitt with my bunnies. Okay. So what I do, I don't know why I've got my hair down because it's warm in this kitchen. <laughs> is, see, you can see where some of the doilies were too, but see, it's it isn't super dry. If it's too damp, see it's dry on this side, but if it's too damp, I go ahead and put it back in for a minute or so, but it's not. So, let's do this. So what I'll do is my little assembly line, and y'all can't see it because I don't have a fancy camera, but it's just all my papers get, you know, oh, this one came out last, this was next to the last, you know, that kind of thing. And I've got it so everybody should be nice and dry, you know, by the time uh, it's time to put them up. But see, when it comes to this, I just take this, see, it's, it's damp, y'all. It's just damp. So I just put that right there. And then I go ahead and take, well, if I can and take this first one off and as you see it's not soaking wet but it is damp so I take the first one off and I just go ahead and place it but I place it up a little bit does that make sense can you see that so that I can so that the heat can get under there too see and and that helps some and I know a lot of people love to have this done um, naturally, and I would too, but I'm, I don't have tons of space. As you might have noticed, this is a tiny kitchen. And if Handsome and I get in this kitchen at the same time, let me tell you something. Where, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, you know. <laughs> and some of these I was, um, wanting to get that paper in them. Some of them I thought I had just one doily, but I had three on that one. <laughs> so, like I said, these get, um, these get turned around to me. Put them like this so you can see them a little better. So, once these, you know, if I feel they're drier and this needs to be closer to the heat, then they just exchange, you know, I'll just switch them back and forth and flip them over too. Um, like this one wants to, I don't know if you can see it, that one wants to puff up. And sometimes I just put my whole hand on them, like behavioral cells. But at the same time, y'all are probably like me. And when they don't behave themselves, it's kind of fun, isn't it? That's the fun thing about when you coffee dye or tea dye paper. Um, it's so fun to see how different things come out. And um, while we're waiting, since this is super boring, ooh, sorry about that, I can show you how different it comes out too with the different paper. These doilies, I don't remember, I think someone gifted me these doilies. And look how different color-wise, y'all. Very different color-wise. You know, which I thought that was kind of fun. And uh, I did look in and see that we can flip it open. See when it gets that light? 
it really wants to really wants to be dry and I'm not going to put you all through this over and over again I just wanted to let you know that this is how I'm doing it so I'll count the papers when I'm finished I, I didn't count them properly going in but I thought it was around 30 pieces of paper and I had no idea how many doilies because you know I just I was like okay let's use this package up or let's put three or four of the bigger ones in and I didn't put any huge ones in which I do have remember we can get them at the Dollar Tree I didn't put any of those in but look at this one look how dark it got on the edge <laughs> that's kind of fun isn't it but um, anywho it doesn't take but like you know just me talking just that few minutes and then it's we're ready to take that out you know okay. that one's dry that one doesn't even need that little I've been taking them out when they're three-fourths dry but this one just dry this one was ready and you can see where some you can kind of see where the doilies were so that's what's happening in uh, in Corin's house and I, like I said, I will put, um, I'm kind of rambling because I'm making, I don't want to hurt or burn in it. <laughs> but it, like I said, it's on 250 right now and it has been, I've been at it for a while. But just show you how I'm doing mine. I, like I said, I got on YouTube and saw others do theirs and mine's a combination of several people because I understood why you would want to do this um, slowly and two at a time, two pieces of paper at a time or something like that. But for me and my space and where I am, that's, that's not going to happen. But it does take a great deal of patience, doesn't it? Because you're constantly flipping, put this out, put that over here. You know, it takes a lot of patience. But And I did let mine soak for about 15 minutes. Because again, I, I figure if I'm doing this, I want some color in these babies. So thank you all for joining me. This is, I know, really different from my usual videos, but I appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, y'all.